Hey Libra, so let's do September's energy reading for yourselves as if as if we're already in September. I'm not gonna lie, we're coming up to my favourite time like that, but I still can't believe that we're in September already. It's gone really quick. So always check your moon as in your Venus, as I've always said. But I've made it a little bit easier for you. So I've actually done a layman's term right up where you'll understand it easier. You can get that on my um sorry, I just had a <laughs> just had a message. Um you can get that on my website. If you click the link in the description box below, going straight to my website, and it'll come up as a pop-up. Um, you can actually save it, read it, take notes, whatever. Um, and you'll understand now why I keep going on about your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Because everyone always goes to the sun sign, the star sign. But those four, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus are the four per like the four pillars of your personality. They're as important as each other. They're all as important as each other, and there's a need to work with both. I'm quite lucky because I'm just Gemini, Taurus, Gemini, Taurus, um, or born around full moon, so it's easy. But always look at that. Uh, these will be extended as well, so if you want the extended reading, if this resonates with you, you can find the extended on the Patreon link again in the description box below. If you're watching me on Instagram, all my links are in my bio. So I'm going to dive straight in, Libra. I'm going to get you one from the Believe in Your Own Magic. Don't forget, Mercury still is in retrograde. My mum's literally just rung me in a car battery gun. Um, so yeah, it does mess around with electrics, plans, that type of thing. Uh, but we're quite on the 14th and it's not as scary because it's in, it's at home in Virgo. It's Gemini in Virgo's ruling planet. So Libra, where are we going? So we've got Beach Fire. <laughs> bitch fire uh the number 16 which is a seven 2023 is a seven uh bitch fire is about kind of standing up for your beliefs and things like that but be careful that you're not striking the match be careful that you're not striking the match especially against yourself as well you don't want to be burning out a match only burns for so long if it ain't got no fuel and um, so just be careful of that so you may be in bitch mode i don't know i'm looking at the nails thinking maybe they're my nails next time <laughs> right, let's have a look for my Libras. What is going on for my Libras in the month of September? I still can't believe it. But then I'm excited for next month for Halloween because I'm like a child. And I like Halloween better than Christmas. That's just me. Right, let's have a look. Libra, Libra, Libra. Extended, I will be diving into each and every card. I'll be clarifying each and every card. Right, Ace of Swords in reverse. Libra, what is turning you upside down? Gemini had this energy as well. I do feel it's probably Mercury. Um, the Ace of Swords in reverse is like there's no truth, there's no clarity, there's no, um, you've got to be careful of words. Um, you know, swords are words, it's thought concepts. So there could be battles going on between words and mind. That type of thing. Be careful how you're speaking to yourself as well. And especially if you're in that bitch fire mode. Just be careful. You know. It, there's a need to like kind of seek the truth. So the main energy. We've got the ten of wands. So there's burdens. Feeling stress. Things getting on top of you. You know. Um, I kind of. I feel like. It, this is not going to be for all Libras. But I kind of feel like you need to be careful of your right shoulder. So I don't know who I'm linking in with there. But be careful of the right shoulder. Then again the right is masculine energy. What's crossing that is a leap of faith, taking a risk, um, kind of jumping out of this energy, maybe taking a leap of faith in yourself that you can get out of this energy, you know, it's starting back at zero with the full card, um, the full card is basically the universe saying don't be afraid to fall, you know, I am going to catch you. Why is it coming around at present, we've got the seven of cups in reverse, it's kind of feeling that you've no options at the minute. Whether that be, you know, love life, career, finances, where you're living, what you want to do, your purpose. There's an energy of feeling a bit lost in this. Be careful that with that bitch fire energy, you're not going into resentment uh, for yourself. You, you know, you're not going to be your own worst enemy, especially in regards to how you speak to yourself. In the recent past, we've got the Ten of Cups in reverse as well. There could have definitely been like a loss of a home, um, being pushed 
to leave where you felt safe, you know, that type of thing. Ten of Cups in reverse is it's an emotional downfall. It's emotions all over the place. Libra, what's going on? At present, we've got the Nine of Cups in reverse. Libra, be careful if you are indulging food, drink, addictions, that type of thing. The Nine of Cups, you should be celebrating your achievements in the ninth month. But there's almost an energy. I can want to say, don't cut your nose off to spite your own face. That That's the type, of, especially with that bitchy type energy there. Um, going forward, we do have the world though, and I feel like that is like kind of divine intervention. There's some kind of cycle that you're going to be pushed to evolve from or work through. Things are going to be okay with the world being there. Things are going to be okay, but the universe can't do it on its own. You've got to put it. You've got to put it out there that you need this help. You've got to ask. You know, um, your spirit guides, your angels, they cannot intervene without you asking. They're not allowed to. You know. Your power is the Ace of Cups in reverse. We need to get that round, Libra. Passive Cancer Scorpio. You may be dealing with Passive Cancer Scorpio, but the Ace of Cups in reverse is, it just feels like it's an empty glass. Maybe you've gone into an energy of my glass is half empty rather than half full. You know, it needs to be filling over. You need to be looking for the things in life that, that does make your... This is all emotions. See, the Gemini was all swords. This is all cups. Uh, you may have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. Maybe look at your moon because we've just had that Pisces full moon as well. And it looks like it's triggered quite a lot. But the Ace of Cups in reverse, it, it can be grief. It can be resentment. It can be self-pity, uh, you know, like victim mentality, that type of thing. Your power is to turn that around. It's to kind of empty the glass and refill it fresh. Outside influence to that is the Page of Pentacles. Again, I'm going to say there's a need to reach out for information or help or advice. And it's trustworthy guidance. So I do feel like you've got someone or you've got certain people around you that you can trust in order to take these issues towards them. Make sure you do that in the month of September. I do feel like things are going to get easier for you around the 17th, 18th. I don't know why, but... I'm just going with it. In the hopes and fears, you return back to yourself, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, thinking logically. He speaks his truth. He knows what he wants. The King of Swords is a divine masculine energy. Very logical. Um, and your outcome is the magician, which is Aries energy, which is magic. It's alchemy. It's turning a bad situation into a good, a negative situation into a positive. You've got the power to alchemize this situation. So there's a need to use that power. So I just want to clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse before I go into the extended. The Ace of Cups in reverse from a Libras. The King of Wands. So the King of Wands is a doer, a go-getter. Sagittarius Leo, Aries energy. You may have fire in your chart, but I feel like you need to embrace this fire energy in the month of September rather than get it. Rather than being all in your cups energy, rather than being in all your emotions and stuff, it's like, let's get up and do it. Let's, uh, what's that guy called do I like? Um, I can't remember his name. Jordan Peterson. Uh, is 12 rules of life, whatever it is. You get up, you make your bed, you motivate yourself. The King of Wands is very motivated. Let's get it done. He's the doer. I want it. I'm magic. I'll manifest it. I'll go and get it. So I like that. So I want to get you on from working with your own life, Libra. Let's work with your own. you got a flipper. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. The, I do feel like you need to get grounded, especially emotionally. Remember, as I'm always saying, the sun is electric, the earth is magnetic. We are a conduit towards that energy. And if, that en if, if our energy is blocked anywhere, where's that energy going? It's just staying up here. In your thoughts, in your emotions, we need it. We need to be the conduit. Libra. So this month is about focusing on getting grounded. I want to find exactly what's been setting all this off in the extender. But if this is where I leave you, I'm going to leave you with lots of love. Oh, my skin's stuck to the leather chair. That's not nice. <laughs> okay, bye.